Newcastle's for IFL TV. It's Riyadh season, Battle of the Baddest. What's the matter, mate? Is your beard always a bit grey like that? Is that is that new or has it always been like that? Mate, my hairline's perfect, no, your right? Hair, no, mate, your I don't mind a bit of grey beard. But your little, your little silver foxy beard is coming through. I didn't, I noticed that. Got bring in silver back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how are you first of all? Uh, Fabio Wardley, how are you mate? I'm good mate, really good, really good. Having a good time, enjoying Saudi, enjoying Riyadh, just soaking up the occasion. Would you agree, it's very difficult to explain like this week or yeah. Saudi, unless you've been here. Like, it's difficult to explain to people, you can see it from videos, etc. but it's a vibe here. Yeah, it's a very different vibe, very different feeling. Look, a good one, great at that, but it's... It's got a bit of a different twist to it, but something I'm really enjoying. It's fantastic. Now, I've, I've got an interview. I know you did an interview after the, the London press conference, etc. But that's been a little while now, a little bit of a gap being created between then and now. So are you kind of over that moment that occurred in the press conference? Not even slightly. <laughs> nah, like, look. Things happened that shouldn't have happened, that things went on that day that again shouldn't have gone on and they're not forgotten, no, but do, they don't distract me at all from what I need to do. My job stays the same, my attitude towards the fight stays the same, but they're not forgotten. They'll be remembered on the night, don't worry. I'm going to try and word this correctly. If the fight wasn't in Saudi Arabia and the build-up continued in London, I feel like it could have created a different situation. I think I've worded that right. I know, yeah, it could have, potentially. Potentially, but maybe it's a bit of a blessing that it's not to save a few more silly actions from some silly people. But look, it's a big event and it's a big it's a big occasion and we need to do our best to, um, to hold that right in the right light. How happy are you that, first of all, obviously there was a talk of the British title well, there was a question whether it would be on the line. We now know it is on the line. We now know the card um, is being licensed by the board. That's a good thing, isn't it, as a fellow Brit? Yeah, definitely, because what, for one reason, obviously, this is a massive show, a massive event that's going to be watched by, by millions and millions around the world. So for, for us two as British fighters to be able to showcase our talents on a stage like that is huge. It's huge. And it's not necessarily an opportunity we'll get back in the UK. So we've got to take advantage of being on such a big stage. Without having the fight, is Adelaide, um, where does Adelaide sit amongst the opponents that you've faced already? I'd, I'd probably rank him somewhere in the top five. I don't think he's... I don't think he'll be five yeah, of your opponents. Yeah, I don't think it'll be my hardest today. No, I think a lot. I think a lot of my opponents have got a better boxing IQ than him. Don't get me wrong; he's got some raw abilities. He's strong. He's big. He's hungry. He's a little bit fast with his hands and that. He's got some raw skills, but ultimately, at certain levels, they only get you so far. You've got to have the boxing IQ, the willpower, the rest of it all rolled into one to to push forward. And I've got through from I've got through some opponents in the past that have had all those things. So. He's, he's up there, but I wouldn't say he's number one. Do you see, you come through Saturday, it, victorious. Do you see that this is kind of that domestic opponent chapter close for you? Should you come through on Saturday? I'm gonna, again, trying to word that right, because there's still a lot of fights out there that you could be having. But um, how long do you kind of stay around where you're at at the moment? Yeah, not for much longer, if anything. Um, boxing as a whole is a funny one in terms of how fights get made and when they get made and timing and things like that. So I think maybe I'll, I'll have this, maybe one more, and then I'm really trying to kick on past it. I think I've, I've paid my dues, I've done my bit, I've taken on a few British contenders. I'm, it's ready for me to move on now. Um, hopefully them fights are easy to make and easy to put together. If not, then maybe I have to just sit for a moment, take on some more British challenges and keep it moving. Would Dillian be here this weekend? Who? Dillian. No, not that, I don't think he's not going to make the trip, nah. Um, so you've been here since when? When did you arrive here? Uh, I got here Saturday night. Saturday night, okay. Uh, yeah, about four or five days or anything. So in any moment in the last three or four days, have you and Adelaide been in the same vicinity? Uh, not without adequate precautions <laughs> okay okay i get that okay because when i got to the hotel the hotel i'm at where adelaide's at i was told that you two were staying in the same hotel was that ever discussed because that's what i was told when i got there that I you didn't say no i don't think i don't know but um 
I'm definitely not in the same hotel as them. I think the only actual, the only other time that we was around each other when um, when there was no security or nothing was um, when we went to His Excellency's house the other night, but no one was kicking off there, I tell you. That. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Nothing. So, um, no, aside from that, I haven't really seen them at all. Listen, the build up has been what it is. What really matters is what happens in the ring uh, here in Riyadh on, on Saturday night. It's a, it's a big night for both of your careers. So, um, yeah. As, British boxing fans, I mean, everyone's looking forward to that fight. Possibly in some ways more so than the Fury fight of Vingardo. Yeah, I think you get um, I think you get a two for one on this. You get your purest boxing fight with me and Adelaide, Adelaide sorry, um, chief support in the bill. And then you get your kind of little little spicy bit on top with seeing what's going to happen with the Fury and Garnu. Well, what's your opinion about it? Obviously, everyone's had their opinion about it. and. Uh, yeah, look, we are where we are with it. I mean, there's some intrigue in it. Obviously, we know what Francis and Garner is a UFC fight. It's like his first boxing fight. We are intrigued. Fury's expected to knock him out, but there is a little bit of intrigue to see how it kind of plays out. Yeah, that, I think that's the thing. It's just interesting. I think there's a lot of question marks. So, like, you've seen in the past that Fury can be tagged and he goes down. Don't get me wrong, he always gets up, but he does go down, so maybe... Maybe Ngannou's got that extra 5-10% of power that keeps him down. I think that's a big question mark, but I think ultimately you kind of have to back Fury going into this. He's obviously the purest boxer. He's very, he's, he's dominant, been dominant in the sport for a while. So him crossing over with someone in MMA, I think you'd definitely edge it to him. Okay, well listen, Fabio, thank you very much for your time. Um, do you kind of take in the settings and think it's just like Ipswich here? Yeah, yeah. Standard Saturday night in Ipswich. This is what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a beautiful setting here, isn't it? No, it is. It is fantastic. Like even before I did my um, my workout and stuff, I came out, had a look. Just it's nice as well because obviously this is the arena we're going to be in on the night as well. So you get to have a look, size things up, feel the ring, bounce around a bit, see how it's all going to feel. Yeah, if people don't know, like you, literally will be the last fight in this ring uh, that's behind us because the main event, Fury and Ngannou take place I think somewhere over there or in a different ring which is a bit yeah different different I think they're different but I think um I think that's the the key word for this whole event is different yeah. the Saudis know how to do things good different though. Yeah, yeah, yeah very a very good different but there's no point I don't think there's no point where they go mm, I don't think we can do that they go yeah let's do that and ten times more so it's um it's something special Fabio Baldi best of luck on Saturday night and yeah we're looking forward to Hopefully, an all British classic in Saudi. Who do you want to win? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> no, come on, fam. I like David, I like you. I'm definitely not getting involved in this. Do not involve me in this beef. Best of luck to both of you, generally am. But I'm not one to go to you, fam. Like off the camera, I hope you win. David, I hope you win, blah, blah. Just... Yes, you are. No, I ain't. Exactly Absolutely not. This camera switches off. You go, course, fam. Course, I want you. And then I bet with this one, if he asks you to say. Absolutely same... not. Of course no. I wanted you to win. No, I mean, if he was here now, I'd say it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, actually, I'm glad he's not here now because this could go all wrong. But listen, best of luck on Saturday night. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you after your fight, mate. Cheers, boy. Thank you.